Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements in Taurus, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I have posted a, I posted a TikTok yesterday, actually, and I posted um have, I have posted quite a few over the last week as well. Okay, so you might want to go check those out. Apparently, I can't talk, so that may relate to your reading in some way. Let's see the energy I'm channeling. What am I Taurus collective need to know? What does my Taurus collective need to know? So we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Sag and Pisces energy. And we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Ooh, things are looking up. Things are turning like they're, things are like moving in a more positive direction here. Yeah. moving into a period of hope and recovery and healing and overcoming the grief and the negativity associated with past events here, like making peace, becoming like feeling content. And right as I was going to say content, nine of cups on the back of the deck, that's ultimate. That's like wish fulfillment. That's happiness and fulfillment. Abundance. Hmm. Why is the five of wands behind that though? The 10 of cups, the queen of cups. Let's see. There's been some type of, there's maybe something that you've been hoping and wishing for, but there's been conflict in regards to that situation or a disagreement, obstacles, challenges to a wish fulfillment coming into you, coming in for you, a ultimate happiness and ultimate happiness. I see, I'm telling you guys, I don't know why I'm having a hard time talking, but um, it didn't start until I started filming this reading, but you guys have ultimate happiness and fulfillment coming in here, or it, there's been some type of block to it is what I'm trying to say. But it's coming. It is coming, though. Queen of Cups. <sighs> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. See, what is this? Hmm. Somebody's been um indecisive about you. It's almost like somebody feels like you're like they're they're pretty sure you're their their ultimate happiness and fulfillment. They're pretty sure that you love them that there's love between the two of you, but there's like this skepticism here. This like indec indecision. Maybe this person also felt like they had an inability to commit to you as well. Okay, let's see. So to clarify the King of Wands, the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like this came out for somebody I did a reading for. I forget which sign it was. There could be two different masculines here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups in reverse. What about the Wheel of Fortune? The Sun in reverse. Yeah, that's changing. The Five of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. What is this? Hmm. The lovers on the back of the deck, Gemini energy. So we have Leo, we have air energy, we have fire energy, Pisces. Yeah, Sag, Pisces, Gemini. Somebody is still indecisive about whether or not they want to like have like invest in you and like build a long-term type relationship with you because they can maybe be still healing from something. Yeah, they could still be healing from something. This could be you guys. You know what spirit is saying is that this union hasn't manifested for you because you need to heal spirit. It's like almost like spirit is saying that it's not the right time. The things that you're, you're wanting to grow and to manifest are not manifesting because there's a need for you to be in this five of cups and reverse energy. You need to get to a point where you release the pain and you forgive yourself and you forgive others and you heal and you, you let those emotions that you've been suppressing come to the surface so that you can deal with them and release them. You're, you need to be in an energy of self-love. You need to be in an energy of 
overcoming the grief and the negativity and fi finding peace and accepting things for what it is, that type of thing, content in your own skin, content with what you have, like within like what you're like, like maybe needing to get out of like a lack energy. So that's what spirit is saying here. You have a lack of progress because you haven't taken enough time to heal. You're still carrying a lot. All right. You're still carrying a lot of burdens. Some of you guys are still holding on to somebody from your past. And it's not the whoever this person is. It's somebody else. Or a spirit is saying you've been like putting a lot of effort. Or it's like you've been taking on like the brunt of a of the the work in a relationship with somebody that's very withdrawn and moody and selfish and cold and probably this king of swords and reverse energy. You've been waiting for this person or something like that for some something to change, but I do see change coming in, but why clarify the king of wands? It's like There's two different energies here. There's somebody that's coming towards you as you heal and as you grow, like as you heal and grow and let things go, you have this faded relationship coming in, this solid offer, but there's this other person here. I don't know if this is the, I mean, for some of you, I know some of you guys are going to say it's the same person, but there's like, there's a couple here. There is somebody coming towards you that's very passionate. They're, yeah, they're action oriented. They're going to come in and offer you something solid. And this is faded. And this, like I said, and this is as you heal. And then there's this other person where you and this person are kind of in the same energy. Like Ace of Cups, Serena Virus, Queen of, yeah. Like there's a, there's a very negative energy between you and a person right now. It's like you guys are both not speaking to each other. You guys are closed off to each other. There's anger there or something like that. There's, yeah, no love. Maybe both of you guys are suppressing your emotions for each other right now. If it's not, I feel like there is love here. Both you guys are in this energy of not being happy about this, being disappointed, feeling like unloved or unfulfilled when it comes to one another, cold, empty, emotional loss when it comes to this connection. So if it's not that like there's no, there definitely is love here. It's more so like emotional loss. You and this person are both sad. If you were in separation and you guys got into some type of fight and you guys have both kind of gone cold on each other, you're both in this energy of kind of like trying to push your feelings and emotions away from one another. Or you guys are both in this energy of being, or you maybe angry at each other or just like kind of, you're not speaking to one another. All right. So how does this situation relate to whoever this King of Wands is that's coming towards them? Yeah. Eight of Wands, something's coming in. Communication. What about it? Change. Oh, the six of wands in reverse. What is that? The eight of cups. Uh-oh. So what does this have to do with this king of swords in reverse? Mm. Oh, wait, what's this mean for Taurus? What's this mean for Taurus? They're overcoming some type of fear that, that was like from something that happened in their past. If somebody's returning to you. I really feel like this king of swords is this king of wands that's going to be taking. They're cold and closed off to you right now but they will be taking some type of action towards you. And it could be happening very out of the blue, very sudden, but it's probably going to be a message or a phone call. But the problem here, guys, or like the, the thing I'm, I'm noticing is that this person's maybe coming towards you after something else didn't work out. They, it's like they had like a lack of success in another situation or another path um, that they went down. They're not, they're walking away from an unfulfilling situation here where they feel like there's, failure, lack of growth, lack of achievement, like no success. Maybe they feel like they don't, they're not getting any, any attention in that situation. Huh? Yeah. They're definitely walking away from something. Tell me more about what they're walking away from. They're also like letting their guard down here. It's like, it's like this person knows that when they come, they're, they're trying to act all cold and egotistical right now. It's because this person doesn't want to come towards you. They're missing you. They feel an emotional loss, but I don't know if this person walked away from you. And they failed wherever they went. Because it's almost like. It's almost like this person. Has to come back towards you. Put their pride aside. And like admit that they were wrong. Or admit that they weren't. Yeah that they weren't right. They have to put their pride and their ego aside. Have to come back with a tail between their legs type thing. And I feel like this person. 
they miss you though. They're trying to overcome that overthinking and those fears associated with coming in because they have to ask you for another chance. They have to come in and take accountability for some things. They maybe have gone, gotten some karma too. And it's really opened their eyes to a lot of things. It's like this person has to come in and admit that they were defeated or something like that. That they didn't, they were, they lied. They either have to tell you the truth about something. Yeah. Page of cups. They have to come in and make amends for some type of deception. Yeah. They could have lied to you. Betrayal, deception, getting away with something. So I don't know if you guys know, like say they did something and they maybe they, I feel like they know that, you know, they did this betrayal, deception, getting away with something, theft, dishonesty, sneakiness, cunning, scheming strategy, or maybe it's not that. See, what is that? This person is trying to figure out how they can come back together with you. Yeah, if it's not that this person deceived you in some way, it's like, I don't know what they, they, they went somewhere and it didn't work out. Now they have to come back towards you and be like, you know what, you were right. They were maybe very cocky at some point. I don't know, but it's like they have to, they feel like they have to put their pride aside to come towards you. And I feel like they're trying to figure out the best way to come towards you and how they can even make amends with you, how to manifest something with you. That they have like a vision. They view you as their their ultimate happiness and fulfillment. 11, 11, wow, guys. As I'm saying that 1111 11 on the camera, they do. They see you as their wish. They're, they are their 1111 11 wish. <laughs> um, they see you as their, their fulfillment. But they're trying to figure out how they can even come back together with you. Because they feel like you don't maybe even see them the same way. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They feel like there maybe has been too, many, too much destruction between the two of you. Some of you guys, you blocked this person. Or if it's not that they're worried because they feel like you're going to reject them. Yeah. Again, they're still have, they still got a little ego because this person feel, maybe it's because they feel like they, they're not financially stable. You're not going to want anything to do with them. Or it's because this person maybe knows that if they don't come in with cer a certain amount of openness or like giving something to you, you don't want anything to do with them, but it's like, they're going to, they're going to make the decision. Yeah. They're not financially stable y'all financially inept yeah this person's really stingy with their en energy too they're definitely going through a lot of delays and um setbacks and stuff like that they're they're not stable so keep that in mind okay energy cords despite the distance between you they still feel the energetic cord that is keeping you too connected new perspective they've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors yeah it's like this person is like kind of realizing too that they didn't do right by you and it's like now they got to come back and apologize like they feel they, they feel bad to some degree yeah coming apart Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole life, their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their, their old identity. You are going to hear from this person. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. Didn't I say that? Yep. Game over. Yeah, they know you're not playing with them anymore. They fear your wrath. I told you, they feel like you're going to either cuss them out or you're, you're not going to have some, some, some not so nice things to say to them or you're going to reject them. But it says they fear your reject, your goodness. I can't even, I told you, I'm having a hard time talking. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Investigating their watch. I told you. This person is trying to figure out how they can come towards you. What, how, the best way to approach you. They're like trying to gather information or kind of scope you out to see the best, if, if it's even a good idea to approach you, how they should approach you. They're secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. So for some of you, they're trying to see if you've, you've moved on to another relationship if you're dating somebody. But... See, this person still has some shit that they've got to sort out. They're not ready. Yeah, there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. So maybe for right now, they're just watching you from a distance until they try to get some other things sorted out. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them. Oh my gosh, a fly. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. Boundaries. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them including them. So they were definitely resisting this connection and not wanting to surrender to this. And I feel like it got to the point where you guys had to either walk away from this person, set boundaries with them, cut them off because they were definitely refusing to, it's like, they like, um, how do I say that? Wow. Yeah. It's like this person's starting to realize that like you were innocent. 
they could have like accused you of some things or they like misjudged you. And it's like, now they're starting to realize that you really had genuine intense intentions for them. You really loved them. You, you didn't have any ill will towards them. You were kind towards them. Like it's like, they're seeing things with that new perspective card. And it says they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. Yeah. That they were afraid of you for no reason. I told you somebody, maybe you guys both need to heal from the past, but they it's coming through now that they needed to heal from some things from their past because they were carrying those, that trauma or the, those negative feelings associated with past relationships into your relationship. Cause it says unfounded fear. They are afraid of, to trust again and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. They're realizing that they had no reason to even think of you in that way or to treat you that way or to, to, you know what I mean? It's like, they're realizing that they, they, they sabotage that because of their own self sabotage. It was their own self sabotage. It wasn't you. It was them and the, their view, the way that they saw things and the fact that they hadn't healed and things like that. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Let's get some, a few more cards. And then I'm, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. Regret. Yeah. Afraid they made the wrong decision. Feels troubled or remorseful of what has happened. Sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. We have victim. See, this is the problem with this person too. Feels stuck and has a neg negative attitude. Yeah. It's like they always think someone's out to get them or that they can't trust anybody. Or, like, then don't try to get involved with people. Thinks life is against them and has difficulty coping. Believes they have no control over things that happen to them and blames others. Yeah, they were blaming you for everything. And they're realizing that you were never the one to blame. It was them. They sabotaged this. That's what they're realizing. I am receiving many messages about you through numbers, symbols, and images. The universe is showing me my way back to you. It's showing me my way back to you and you back to me. So yeah, I mean, there will be an opportunity, it looks like, for a reconciliation with this person. And you could be seeing repeating numbers or symbols or some type of synchronicity. I really want to tell you how I feel, but is it too late? Will you understand what I'm trying to say to you or will you misinterpret my messages? So yeah, this person kind of feels like you don't understand them either. Or there's been some type of miscommunication. They can't. Yeah, I would rather not say anything at all. They're kind of, they're overthinking it right now. Let's get a few more. Cancer. So some of you, it's a cancer. But this card says, I was always so hot and cold with you. And no, that, that was confusing. Our connection was too much for me to handle. And that was the only way I could deal with it. Mm. Settling. So they felt like your connection was so intense that they chose to settle. Their, your connection was so intense and it scared them so much that it, they like ran from it. They resisted it and they chose to settle unsatisfied and feels alone while someone while with someone for some of you, they do, there are, with, they have another person. They're not happy with that person. Your wants, needs, and desires are being chronically unmet, accepting less than what you deserve. And that doesn't exactly sit right with you. This person kind of felt like they weren't good enough for you too. And I feel like that's why they ran from this because deep down they felt like they didn't deserve you. Yeah. So they settled for less than they actually deserved because they had like self-esteem issues. I don't understand our connection the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. So yeah, this person, the same energy just keeps coming out. Usually this person is very like charismatic and like, uh, what's the word? Um, charming. And, but with you, it's completely different. This connection very much overwhelms them. They don't know how to handle you in this connection, but we have balancing. Yeah. They're definitely remorseful. We're remorseful through actionable change. They want to show you that they're sorry with their actions. And that's why they're not taking any action towards you. I feel like this is somebody that knows that their words mean nothing to you. They're going to have to actually be able to show you that they're different or that they're serious if they ever have a chance with you. It says, wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you. Understanding what you put in, you get out. Karmic justice. Mm -hmm. I know there is a huge age gap. So for some of you, there is an age gap, age gap between you and this person or it's just some type of huge difference between you and this person maturity level emotional maturity it could be whatever status i don't know but yeah gap between us and some may even object because of that however we are so similar in many ways regardless of our differences 
I was foolish to believe that. See, they were, somebody was maybe telling them that you guys were too different or something like that. Somebody made them feel like you were too different to be able to like make a relationship work. Or it's like somebody around them didn't really approve of your connection because the way you do things is a way different than they are used to the, you know, it's something like that. I was foolish to believe the, the opinions of others and I should have trusted my heart more than what others thought about our connection. Please forgive me for doubting our connection. Oops, hold on. One dropped. I was going to be like, that's it. And then another one came out. Ooh, masquerading. Attempts to conceal their feelings. I told you. They're pretending. There's a lot of love here, but they're in you. I feel like you're at this point where you're concealing your feelings as well. Because we have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. But this person is going to take action to give you something more stable at some point. But it's going to happen in divine timing. But they need to get out of this sulking energy that they're in. They need to move on from something. They need to forgive themselves. They need to recover. They need to heal. They need to let go of the past. They need to make peace with some things. They need to accept some things in their life. And until they do, that's when things are, that's when the wheel's going to turn, but, or it's already turning, but that's when they're going to take action towards you. But right now it's like, ugh, yeah, attempts to conceal their feeling, their, their feelings and authentic intentions feels powerless and may resort to lying to gain greater control over their environment. Mm. We have dark night of the soul here. Yeah. This is what they need to go through. They need to go through this before they come towards you. They, I see them doing it, but they have to go through the dark night of the soul first. Enhanced awareness of identity and extremely difficult and painful period, personal and deep development of oneself. Yeah. Wow, guys. And didn't I say this? Self-love. This could be both of you. This could be you and your person. Learning to forgive oneself and others, healing their inner child with shadow work, recognizing the triggers that has affected them from moving forward. Exactly. Wow. I'm working on my self-worth for a long time. I deemed myself as someone who didn't deserve love and happiness. I was always angry with my life and pushed to love away because I thought I didn't deserve it. That's the part of themselves that they need to heal. This could also be you guys as well. We have Taurus here. It, I took forever in making up my mind about our connection. Instead of speaking to you, I would run away and indulge in unnecessary pleasures in order to ignore my feelings. So they're trying to change that part of themselves. Yeah. They need to work on maybe their feminine energy. I'm working on my divine feminine side. I know I need to be more nurturing, understanding, and compassionate towards myself and others. I want to be more soft and loving, especially towards you. So that's a little peek at their intentions. Ooh, I get so emotional when your name comes up. When I see something that reminds me of you, you trigger something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. You have triggered this person to get more in tune with their emotions, their feminine energy. And I feel like they haven't been in touch with that in a long time. And it's like kind of blowing this person's mind. All right. They're trying to, they have a deep emotion for you guys. They have intense emotion for you, but they do a really good job of hiding it. All right. So I am going to take this over to, they have to be, be able to be comfortable with those feelings for you. They have to be at a place where they're ready to accept those feelings where they, they feel like they're worthy of feeling something so genuine and intense with another person. That's why you guys are not in, together right now, like in other things, but yeah, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, the link will be in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. And don't forget to like, or follow me on Instagram and TikTok If you're interested in collective readings, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.